Oh, good question. Um, uh, I, I'm going to include Elon in that, Elon Musk, in my one of my dinner guests, uh, because he's. I like that he's disinhibited. So I saw him speak um, about six weeks ago at TED for an hour, and um, I like people who aren't are smart, but also are not um, don't buffer themselves as much. I don't know. He he turns off a lot of people because he just says what he thinks. Um, I find that really refreshing. Uh, Let's see, three more choices. Can they be dead people or just have to be alive people? I'm a really big fan of Benjamin Franklin, uh, one of our you know, founding fathers. Again, kind of disinhibited, a little bit of a wild man. Uh, I think he'd be great. Um, uh, Trying to think of the great people would be so interesting. Um, you know, some of the great mathematicians. I'm a math guy at my core. So, you know, Alan Turing would be amazing. Uh, mathematicians people haven't heard of. Leonard Euler, who is a German mathematician, probably one of the top five mathematicians in, in history. Uh, isn't that terrible? I'm getting all these weird techie people. Um, and maybe some wonderful people. Uh, the Dalai Lama. Uh, I've spent enough time with Tibetan monks uh, and some of these really happy people. Matthew Ricard. I'm going through six people now. Matthew Ricard is a, is a neuroscientist, PhD in neuroscience, who stayed with the Dalai Lama for 30 years. Do you know him? Uh, who I just met once and we had an intense, deep conversation, mind meld. So I'd love to spend some more time with Matthew Ricard. So I'll stop there.